Hello friends, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Today I think I'm just going to do a one day vlog where I'm doing something, tackling a pro- not project, tackling something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. It's been like a year since I did this last, but that is going through my closet decluttering some of my clothes, and then just going out and buying some new pieces. For some reason, recently, I've just been like sick of my wardrobe. I've been wanting to change things up, have a little bit of a change with my style. So um, it's not gonna be like a huge change. I've always been just a very casual dresser. I love simple pieces, um, but I do wanna start adding in some like fun colors and stuff. Um, and yeah, just, I wanna change. There's there's clothes in my closet that I just don't like anymore. So we're going to do that. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I think the last time I actually even just in general decluttered my clothes was on the channel. And I think it was probably like a year ago. If I can find the video, I'll put it up here so you guys can go check that out. It's been a while, um, but yeah, I've been meaning to do this and I really wanna do it today. Um, it's just like a really gloomy, rainy day. My neck kind of hurts and I woke up this morning with quite a bit of a headache. So it's just gonna be a chill vlog, not too much effort. Um, we're gonna go through the clothes and then I think I'm gonna head over to the thrift store um, later, so. Yes, if you guys want to see that, just keep on watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Also hit that subscribe button if you have yet to do so. We'd love to have you here. Um, and yeah, let's get into this video, shall we? All right, so starting off with the first section. This is, like I said, all of my cropped shirts, as well as some like shorter t-shirts. They're just like normal t-shirts. They're not like oversized, which I have my oversized ones over in another section. Um, but I feel like there might be quite a bit that I want to get rid of in this section. So I'm going to go quickly through this and ooh, get rid of that I don't want. Um, I'm trying to think like which ones I could just take out and put with my like PJs and stuff like that. Um, also, you guys are sitting on my bed right now and Walt is wanting to get up on the bed. So if you, you know, have a little bit of an earthquake, that's because Walt has jumped up onto the bed. Um, but anyways, um, I think the shirt says messy bun and getting things done. Not really the vibe anymore. Am I right, Walt? Take that out. <laughs> we have this cute shirt, which is like yellow with little daisies. I love that one. I need to start wearing that more. Love is greater. Uh, don't really love that anymore. Love is greater, but not with this t-shirt. <laughs> I haven't worn that in a very, very long time, so we'll get that out of here. We got, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things, yes. Out of office, yes. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> love that one. Remember, you're somebody's reason to smile. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, I think this is cute. I haven't had a chance to really wear this too, too much, um, but it's like a little turtleneck with a bunch of different like stripes on it. I think it's cute. I need to make sure I wear that this summer. This one I've kept for a really long time, but I just never end up wearing it because I feel like it's a little bit too revealing for me. Okay, I guess I could just wear like a tank top underneath it. Nah, I don't think I'll wear it. I've had this shirt for so long and I absolutely love it, but I just never end up actually wearing it, so. Oh, that makes me a little sad. I shouldn't hold on to something that I'm never going to wear. I'm gonna get rid of this. I do actually think I bought this while I was thrifting. Um, and I just, I really like the color, but I think it's too small for me. Okay, so I definitely didn't get rid of as much as I thought. Shall I take a quick go back? So 
So these shelves here I'm not really going to go through in the video, but I have um, makeup, perfumes and stuff, skincare, nail polish, um, bath care, socks and hats and stuff like that. Maybe. Are there any hats that I want to get rid of? I do have this hat, which like, am I ever going to wear this? <laughs> this was a hat that I purchased when I was in uh, New York. So I, I think I felt a little bit more stylish while I was there. I think I also purchased this while I was there. Got a nice little beret, which looks very cute, I will say. It matches the hairstyle a little bit better than the other hats. All right, so I got rid of a few hats, which is good. Got rid of my weird tra train hat, tra train hat and uh, a burgundy hat. All right, so we're finished with that. Moving on to the next one. All right, so moving on to this one here. Like I mentioned, this one has some cardigans and some flannels as well as dresses and then shorts at the bottom, which I might have to move you guys down a little bit to look at those. But I do think, again, there's quite a bit of stuff that I wanna get rid of in here as well. Um, I do think that I wanna get rid of this shirt, this flannel. I might actually get rid of this one as well. <sighs> Basically, both of these are like longer flannels and then they both have something written on the back. This one says, everlasting love. Um, adorable. The only thing is that they are too small for me now. So whenever I wear these flannels, I have to wear them unbuttoned because I can't button them up because my butt is too big. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do think it's a really cute flannel. I just can't fit into it anymore and I just never grab for it. Um, and that's the same case with this one as well, which I love this one so, so much. This was one that I got from a um, little like small business called Feeling Flannels, um, which I found on Instagram. And the back has like a really cute design on it and it says sunshine state of mind. It has like a sun, it's so cute, but I just don't wear it. Again, I can't do it up, like button it up all the way. So most of the time I just wear it unbuttoned and like, I guess it's okay like that. But if I'm ever reaching for a black and white plaid shirt, I'm always going to be reaching for this one because this one is oversized and I really like the fabric on that one. It's nice and cozy. Um, so this one, I just feel like will not be getting worn. So I think I'm going to pass that one on, even though it makes me sad, but I guess I could always just go and see if Feeling Flannels is still being run and purchase another one that is bigger. Um, I also am considering getting rid of this. Um, I feel like my style is definitely turning a bit more girly these days. Um, and I feel like this is just very, masculine to me. I don't know why. I still really love, you know, having a little bit of masculine flair with my style, but this I feel like is a little bit too masculine. And I think I actually got this from the men's section of uh, a thrift store while I was there a few times ago. So yes, that is that. So I guess this is my only flannel now, which I'm okay with. Um, I do love a good, just solid collection of just one of each thing. Like I don't need a ton of flannels. I just need my one go-to flannel and that makes me happy. I also have one black cardigan, got one dark gray cardigan, one light gray cardigan. Um, this one is one that I might get rid of. It's cute. I just, I don't know. I don't really love the like stripes on it anymore. Maybe I'm gonna try this one on and then I'll try or I'll like decide what I wanna do with that one. And then I do have this longer beige one, which 
again, I think I want to try this one on as well. Um, this is very like bohemian to me and I'm not really into that super bohemian style anymore. So let me try that one on as well. I have a yellow cardigan and then I have a burgundy cardigan. So I feel like I have like a good solid collection of like knit cardigans there, which I love. Got a few, um, this, this I think I need to try on as well. This is a cute little romper. Only thing is that if I keep this, I need my sister Alicia to fix the back because there is a hole running down the zipper. So I'm gonna try that on, see if it still fits me. And then if it doesn't, um, we'll get rid of it. But if it does, I'll get my sister to fix it. Um, I have a few different uh, t-shirt dresses. I have this, which I absolutely love, but I feel like it might be too small for me. So I'm gonna try it on again. It's just like a little um, like overall dress. Very, very cute. Um, this is like a fancier dress. So I'm gonna put this in my front closet cause this is where I, or that's where I keep all of my fancier dresses. So that needs to go up there. This dress I purchased online and I absolutely hate how it looks on my body. So we're just gonna take that off and immediately put it in the get out of my house <laughs> pile. We have another romper, which I love. Um, this is a striped dress that I like. This one I bought for my friend Tom and Ash's wedding and I really like it. I just think it has shrunk quite a bit since I worn it. So I'm gonna try that on quickly, but ultimately I don't really think I want to wear it again. I typically like to wear dresses to a wedding and then not wear them anywhere else. I don't know why. Um, we have another t-shirt dress. It's like a pink color that I like. I have a few other dresses that I love. And then a few other dresses. This one, I think I need to try on again because I think it might be too short for me. I love this dress so much, but again, it might be too small. It might have shrunk a little bit. So we got rid of quite a bit from this closet. Holy manoli. Let me lower you guys down and then I'll quickly go through the shorts as well. All right, so shorts here. I also have a few skirts as well, um, but we have some black shorts. Hi, Walt. Got some black jean shorts. Got some black like comfy shorts that I, I think I remember wearing in Mexico and I liked those. Um, this skirt is the only skirt that I have that I actually like like and I need to wear. I want to get some more skirts. I feel like I don't have enough skirts. Like I said, I think my style is turning more girly-ish, so I really need some more skirts. And I need to like push myself to wear them. Um, this skirt here, I need to try this on again. I'm pretty sure it's too small for me. Um, I purchased this from a thrift store and I just never wore it. So we're gonna try that on. We've got my favorite burgundy shorts, some comfy shorts, these are good. Um, let me try these green ones on. Again, I think they might have shrunk, so they might be too small. We have, these are the same as these black ones that I took off. I don't know why I took these out, because I am keeping these three. Um, but these ones are the same as these black ones here. We have some Levi jeans that I cut off into shorts, which I love. Um, I was trying to get into like longer Bermuda shorts. So I bought these from a thrift store and I just think that they're too low on the hips. So I always feel like really uncomfortable wearing them. Maybe I'll try them on again. We're all good with all of those. Okay, and I also do have some boots and heels down here, which I love all of those. So we're gonna keep those. Okay, so that's everything for there. Let's move in to the next one. All right, so this is my hoodies, which I feel like it should be pretty easy to go through these. I'm not too picky with my hoodies because typically these are just things I wear at home. So 
good and good. Okay, so I'm not getting rid of any hoodies, which I suspected. Um, I am going to move you guys down, though, to down here because these are jeans, which there are some jeans that I do think I am going to move along. So let's go down there. All right, so I do have this here. Quite a bit of my jeans are actually in the wash because I've been wearing jeans a lot recently, obviously because of the colder weather. Um, and obviously those ones are the ones that I like because they're the ones I'm wearing. So out of these ones that I still have here, we have a pair of black jeans here, which I actually think I'm going to try these on because I think these might possibly be too small for me. Um, I've had these ones for a very long time. They feel very small, so I feel like I might have outgrown those. So let me try those on. We have some like sage green pants, which I love. Some beige ones, some burgundy. Um, these red ones, I did buy these from a thrift store as well. And I thought I could make like the whole oversized jean work, but they're just, they're just too oversized and they don't really fit. I do love the red pants though, so maybe I will try to find a different pair of red pants that actually fit me better than these ones did. So those are going back to the thrift store because I'm pretty sure I bought them from the same thrift store I'm going to. Um, but we have those. We have these pants which I love and then these ones here that I just recently got um, that have like little plaid on the inside. Um, Frances' mom actually purchased these and then they didn't fit her so she asked if I wanted them and they are the cutest pants that I ever did see. So those are all staying. Um, these need to move back a little bit. And we do have these here. Um, I don't know if you guys, yeah you can see. Um, these are just jeans that I didn't want to have hung up here but um, these, I'm so sad I don't want to get rid of these but they're just too big like this waistband is way too big the only way that i can wear these is if i like tighten them beyond belief and then it just ends up looking weird so i really hope someone finds these and loves them because they are the prettiest they're just like some fabric pants and i really want some like loose flowy fabric fabric pants for um summer this summer so i'm gonna try to find some similar to that um, I do have like a few pairs here, uh, but they're nothing special. Um, okay, so we have some white pants, which I feel like I really liked how I looked in these. So I actually think I just need to like go through these six pairs of jeans and try them on. I'm gonna take all six of these pairs out. So yes, that is everything for this one. Moving on to the last section. So like I said, we are now on to the last section. This is the probably like where most of my clothes are. Um, this is all of like my long sleeve shirts, knitted sweaters, stuff like that, as well as oversized t-shirts. And then we have a bunch of drawers at the bottom as well. So this is where a lot of like my lounge wear, a lot of the stuff that I wear on an everyday basis is leggings, workout clothes, um, undergarments, PJs, sweatpants, all of those things. So, oh, we're gonna get right into this. All right, so starting with this drawer here, which this has all of my workout stuff in it. And fun fact, I haven't worked out in months, so a lot of this stuff I haven't really used. Um, obviously I wear leggings on like a day-to-day -day basis, usually, um, they're like the comfiest things to wear. Um, but I don't really know if any of these I want to get rid of. No, no. Um, I could get rid of these ones. I got these from Fabletics um, a while back and they're one of the ones that have like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but there's like lacing at the back and yes, they look nice and it looks cute, but it's not really functional. Um, but I do want to go through all of my ooh, sports bras because I have way too many of them.
this one I could probably move on from. It's just like a striped one. This is probably like one of my first Lululemon sports bras. This one I might actually get rid of. The issue with this one is that it clasps at the back and most of the time when I'm working out it unclasps as I'm working out. So this is from, I think it's Fabletics. Um, it's nice, like it, it's really nice. Oh dang it. It is really nice. But Jenna, you never wear it because it unclasps. And it is as tight as it can possibly go. Walter, what are you doing? No, I don't need it. We'll get rid of that one too. <laughs> that makes me so sad. All right, so I still have way too many sports bras, but that's okay. We got rid of a few. Um, I have a skirt, which I think I just need to start wearing on a like day-to-day -day basis instead of just holding it on or holding on to it for working out. That's um, workout shorts, more workout shorts, buddy. Can you stop? More workout shorts and so I think I might actually try these ones on because they are pretty small and I want to see if they will still fit me to work out in so those are all my workout shorts and then I have like shirts and stuff here oh that are specifically for like rock climbing slash working out haven't actually been climbing either. Um, I really do need to get back into more of a fitness routine because I've kind of just stopped, which is not good. Walter, why are you crying? <laughs> what a funny little dog. But I will say that I did work out for the first time last night, so we're getting back onto it. Don't you worry. All right, this is a weird section that I probably won't really get rid of much because these are all just like PJs and I'm not too picky on my PJs so There we go. And then the last drawer here is my like sweatpants slash a few other pairs of pants. Um, these ones I think I'm going to move to my like more jean area. I love those pants. Um, these ones I think I'm going to bring to the thrift store. They're from Fabletics. They just ended up looking really, really weird on me. They have these like straps at the bottom of the ankles um, and I don't like how they look. So I'm gonna move those along. We have some comfy pants, comfy pants. Um, this I can actually hang up. This is like a black skort that I love. Um, sweatpants, sweatpants, move those there. We have some just like fancier sweatpants, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and I have these ones, which I purchased these. I was in like a really big K-pop mood for some reason. And I was like, oh, I really want some like cool black pants with like straps and buckles and stuff. So I ended up buying these. Um, they're really cool. They have like pockets and stuff here. And they have like this little like buckle but they're just like really bad material it's like a really weird material and they don't look amazing on me maybe I'll try them on again I think they were just like they were high-waisted but then like it looked a little bit weird around my butt and my crotch so let me try those on again
friends welcome back to the channel it is now quite a bit later i think it's like four days later five days later from when i went through my closet which i'm actually filming on my phone right now so i keep on looking over <laughs> and also the camera is way too good on this because it always really shows how awful my skin is right now which is a huge insecurity and if anyone has any any tips my skin is looking real bad these days but anyways we are about to go and do some thrift shopping i'm gonna go to a consignment store to bring in the clothes that i'm getting rid of see if i can get a little bit of money there to spend on some new clothes and then i think i'm also gonna go to value village as well and then to the salvation army um, thrift store so we're gonna go to three different places i only have about two hours a little bit less than two hours so it's gonna be quick um, i am filming like i said on my phone so i'm just gonna bring you guys on my phone and we are going to not look at this camera we're gonna look at there hello hi um yeah let's go do a little bit of thrift shopping and then probably um, when I get home, I do have to go to like a board game night with some friends, but once I get home home after that, then maybe I will do a um, little haul for you guys of all the things that I end up getting, um, or maybe I will do that tomorrow. But yes, let's go, shall we?
chatted to you since we went thrift shopping, um, but I actually did go thrift shopping again the other day. I forgot to bring you guys along, but I brought my clothes to another consignment store and shopped around while they looked at those. They took a few more things from the basket and I picked up a few more clothing items. So I'm very excited to show you guys all of the things that I picked up um, that day and then also the day that I brought you guys along. Um, so yes, anyways, the first thing that I do want to show you, I did grab some things from the Salvation Army. We went into there. Um, I also went to Valley Village. I didn't find any like home decor, but I did find one clothing item that I'll show you guys after. But as for home decor, um, I did pick up a vase. I do have one on my dining table right now. It's just a like white one from Ikea and I don't really love the shape of the vase. It makes it a little bit hard. Um, to put like a larger bunch of flowers in because the like opening for the flowers to go into is slightly smaller than the vase itself if that makes sense it kind of like curves in and then that's the hole um, so this one here is just like a plain clear vase I think it was like $2.99 and I am excited to do this I've really been loving um, like the clear vases where you can like see the stems go down into the water. I think it looks really really pretty. Only thing I'm concerned about is the water turning like a weird color. Let me know if you guys use clear vases. Do you just have to um, replace the water more often? I'm assuming that's what you have to do. Um, or is there like a certain type of chemical that you put into the water to make it not turn um, a gross color. I've never had to really deal with it because all of my vases are opaque so you don't see the water. Um, so I just put the water in and then put the flowers in and kind of leave it until the flowers die. Um, but with this one I feel like I might have to um, replace the water more often. But yes, it was only like $2.99. Really nice, just simple vase to put on the dining table. And then also from Salvation Army, I got a few blankets, which the one thing that we've had to deal with most with our new puppy Walt is the fact that he likes to chew things. He has destroyed many, many of my blankets already, and I really don't want him to be destroying any more of like my nicer blankets. Um, he also destroyed Penny's bed. He's destroyed a few um, beds. He's also destroyed a lot of like toys and socks and a few clothing pieces. So it's been a struggle. Um, but like I said, I just didn't want him chewing up any more of my nicer blankets. So I just picked up two blankets from the thrift store. They were both $6 and they're just nice and cozy. I'm going to wash those and then put those around the house on his beds and stuff like that. Um, and then hopefully he does not chew those up. So yes, those are everything or that is everything that I got that is not clothing related. Like I said, I got some stuff from Plato's Closet on the day that I brought you guys. I got some from Plato's Closet um, a few days after that. And then I did get one thing from Value Village. So the one thing that I got from Value Village, I actually did not try this on. And uh, thankfully it does fit and it's very, very cute. Um, it is a little bit expensive. I didn't realize how expensive, expensive, expensive Value Village was getting. Um, and just like thrift stores in general, I feel like they're getting a bit more expensive, but maybe just everything in general is getting a bit more expensive because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I haven't purchased like full price clothing in a very, very long time. Like I haven't been online shopping for clothing in a very long time. I haven't like been to a mall and went shopping for a very long time, but like getting this, this is what I ended up purchasing from Value Village. It's a cute little um, overall short little romper thing. It is a like red linen material and you have some pockets on the front here and then you just like tie them at the front. I think it's very, very cute. It was $12.99, which I feel like something like this from like a normal store, like new would have been $12.99. So I don't know if just maybe everything is going up in price. Um, but I thought that it was very, very cute. I love the red color. That was the one thing that I picked up from Value Village. And then as for the things that I picked up from the time that we went together to Plato's Closet. So the first thing that I picked up was this guy here. I have worn this already, so there might be, yeah, there's totally some like deodorant stains on it already, but it's just honestly like the most simple black tank top, but I really love the ribbed material. It's really, really nice. It feels good on. Um, it is from H&M 
and I just really needed a nice black simple tank top to wear with jeans, with shorts, with skirts, anything like that. Even like this underneath this I think would be very cute. Um, and the nice thing is that it is a material that I can just not wear a bra underneath. That was a big thing for me when I was looking for tank tops and stuff is I am just honestly sick of wearing bras and having to worry about like what bra do I wear under this specific shirt because I don't want people to see my nipples and I don't all of those things but I also I don't want people to see like straps and stuff so I just wanted to get tank tops that I did not have to worry about any of that and that black tank top did the trick and then I also picked up this one which I really like this. I'm pretty sure all of the tank tops were either like $6. I think the black one was $6. This one here was $8. And this is from, I don't know, it does not have a tag on it. But I really like the color of this. I love this like warm, light beige color. It has ties on the side. And again, this one fits really, really nicely. Um, I do think that I probably will have to wear a bra with this one. The uh, material isn't as thick as the black one, um, but this is just like your typical tank top, so I should be able to wear some sort of bra, normal bra underneath that. Um, and then I also picked up this one. This is like one of my favorite colors. I have a long sleeve shirt in this color, but I really wanted a tank top. So I picked up this one here. I believe this is from Shein. And it's just like a really simple, um, like burnt orange colored tank top. It was $6 and I don't know what it is for some reason recently. I've just been very obsessed with like natural colors. Um, so a lot of like neutrals and greens and more like burnt oranges, that sort of thing. Um, so I really like that. You guys can see here, it's just like all neutral colors um, but then also green I absolutely been loving green any shade of green and this top right here I've already worn this I wore it out for dinner last night and again I believe this was about six or eight dollars I love this color it's like just a light sage green color I love this type of top where it's like like scrunchy on the boob area I guess um, but it's really really comfy again I don't have to wear a bra with it it has that like stretchy material on the back, so it's very, very comfy, very easy to wear. Um, the only thing is the straps are a little bit loose, so um, the nice thing is that my sister Alicia is, um, or went to school for fashion design, so she is pretty good at like tailoring things. So I honestly could do it myself, where I just like take in the straps a little bit, make them a little bit shorter, just so that they're a little bit more snug. But honestly, it's not too, too bad. Um, when we were out for dinner yesterday, I didn't really struggle too much with them like falling down or anything. Um, so yes, that shirt. Um, and then I also picked up this. I have worn this already as well, but I am pretty sure um, Lindsay Hughes, um, she is also a YouTuber here, and she, I'm pretty sure has this, um, what is this called? Like a flannel, uh, a shacket, if you will. I'm pretty sure she has this one but it's like this really, really nice, it's a little bit of an itchy, it's not like super, super fuzzy. I wish it was a little bit more like cozy, comfy. It's like slightly weird feeling fabric, um, I will say, and it's slightly like structured, I guess. Like it's not as like squishy and cozy as I wish it was, but I really, really love the way it looks. I love the color scheme where it has the beiges and the browns as well as this really nice again like light sage color i feel like these would look really nice together um but yes i wore this and i feel like it's going to be a really really nice just light jacket to wear in the springtime and even in the summer and then lastly i did find a pair of pants which recently i've been really liking like more slouchy pants some more like not so fitting like skinny jean type pants but more like structured at the waist but then a little bit more slouchy um, on the legs so i ended up getting these pants right here they fit really nice on the waist they kind of go in on the waist and then i guess they're like cargo pants is that what they are because they do have like the pocket on the side here i guess they're a little bit difficult to see i don't think these i tried on in the change room i think you guys might have seen me in all of these things 
Um, I don't think I showed me trying on this either, but it's just, you know, your typical jacket. So maybe I will put in some B-roll of these pants on me, but I really liked the way that they looked on me. Um, I love these types of pants. Um, they're just like a little bit more oversized, um, but they still do like give you structure and shape in your waist. So I like this type of pants with like a cute little tank top. I feel like it looks really nice and has like a good contrast between like being a little bit more loose on the bottom and then a little bit more structured on the top um, with a like, cute little crop top or something. So yes, I ended up grabbing those. And then that was everything for when I took you guys thrift shopping. But like I said, I did go again, um, I think it was a few days ago, and I grabbed three more things. The one thing that I was looking for at the thrift store was dresses as well as skirts, which I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I feel like I am going more towards like feminine styles these days. And I really want to add some more feminine pieces to my wardrobe. So I was looking at skirts and dresses and stuff. I didn't find any on the first trip, but when I went this second time, I tried on a ton of dresses and skirts. Unfortunately, I still haven't found any skirts that I like on me. Um, let me know if you guys know of any good places to get skirts, just some nice comfy skirts. I would love to have um, skirts that have shorts built into them. I really love when they have those because then I don't have to worry about my butt hanging out. I do have a slightly bigger booty and bigger hips. So I feel like skirts are a little bit more difficult to find. So anyways, we didn't have any good luck with any skirts, but I did pick up a dress, a romper, and a pair of shorts. So the first one here is a dress and I am obsessed with this dress. Look at how, let's see, look how cute this is. It's just like a cute little linen button up dress, beige color with some pockets. And I think it's just really, really cute, easy to throw on. Um, but I also picked up a romper, which technically this is like a dress romper, I guess. I don't really know, but it is, it's striped with this like beigey yellow color and white. It is a romper because it does have the shorts at the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's also this like really cute tie at the back, but at the front, it does look more like a dress because you have this little like flap here in front. So it ends up looking more like a dress in the front and then the romper in the back. And I think this is so cute. I love the colors. I just personally love stripes as well. And then lastly, I did pick up a pair of shorts, which I was not looking for pairs of shorts, but I did end up just quickly going through them and I found these ones. And I do already have a pair of white shorts, but I will admit that the white shorts that I have, they don't really fit me the most amazing. And these ones, I really loved the look of them. They're slightly different than any shorts that I have in my wardrobe, um, and they are white. So I picked up these ones here. I really like the length of these. They're kind of in between a short short and like a Bermuda short. They're not quite as long as a Bermuda short. They fit me so, so nicely in the waist. They're nice and like snug, but not too snug in the waist. And then, like I said, they're a little bit longer. They're not too snug around my thighs, which I really love. That is going to be everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me as I purged my closet of some pieces that I just didn't love too much anymore and bringing in some new pieces. Um, hopefully you had fun and coming along with me for that. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you have yet to do so. We'd love to have you here on the channel. I'd love to have you here. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know which one of these pieces that I purchased you like the most. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. You are my reason to smile. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.